Hi, I'm Shane Bales, Doc Hockey for Pro Action Sports Injury Clinic. As you can see, it's Funky Sock Day, or Magic Sock Day. I just like socks, they're kind of fun to do. Um, anyways, so today's the exercise we're doing Pales Rails, and we're doing internal rotation of the knee capsule, so often where the tibia and the femur meet, we want to make sure that we can rotate that inwards, okay? A lot of people just think it's front and back, but sometimes you need that rotation in that knee joint um, to have full joint health. All right, so we'll be looking at that. Uh, sometimes you have knee pain or ankle pain even with that when you're not having that uh, rotation or range of motion. All right, so we sit down. We always keep our knee bent in this position here, okay? We're gonna be taking the opposite hand, bringing the foot inwards, okay? Remember, this is the joint we'd want to activate and uh, rotate it internally or inwards, okay? So we take our other hand and we come across the upper thigh bone here, the femur, all right, and we hold that there, okay? So we do a passive stretch by Breathing into the diaphragm, so the stomach kind of comes out. We're bracing throughout the, the glutes, the core, the arms through there, so there's more tension going in. So it's like an exercise, not just a stretch here, but we're doing it kind of through there. So we passively stretch that for about two minutes, okay? After that, we're going to go against our hand resistance here at the bottom on the foot, so our foot's actually going outwards, right? And we're holding that there in that new range of motion that we just did for another two minutes, okay? After that, then we're going to actively rotate the tibia joint so we're going to bring it inwards towards the, the floor kind of thing or turning the whole uh, shin bone inwards to get that rotation through here actively for 10 to 15 seconds while we're still bracing and putting all the tension in there as well so you can see that the foot is actually kind of coming up through here and this is rotating inwards for 10 to 15 seconds Okay, then we're gonna repeat that again with our new range of motion by relaxing, going into a passive stretch again, breathing into the stomach and out, in and out. Good, and we're holding that. And we do that for about a minute and a half, two minutes. Then we're gonna be going again against resistance with the hands, the foot's coming outwards, holding that for two minutes again. All right, and then we're doing our active muscle contraction inwards to get a little bit more, all right? And this is where we want that joint to be moving, okay? It's not ankle movement that we want here, this joint here, okay? So that's what we're gonna be doing, just a review here, right? So we have our knee capsule for in, inward or internal rotation, our passive stretch at the beginning, that diaphragmatic breathing, and trying to get us to get our maximum range of motion through there for two minutes. Then we have our pales contractions, which basically we're going against the resistance of the hands. This is into external rotation or outward rotation, right? And that's there for two minutes. We do our rails, which is the inward uh, active muscle contraction, so that the foot is coming in towards the floor and we're rotating inwards to get that tibial rotation in the, in the knee joint and that's 10 to 15 seconds, a pretty full out contraction, all right? And then our sets are two to three times. So each time should increase range of motion. If you're not getting that increased range of motion, you're probably done with that amount of range of motion for that day. You can repeat it throughout the day, that's not a problem. So just keep uh, doing it over and over again to help that nervous system kind of let go as well as getting the stretch in through that capsule uh, to make it strong, flexible, and that's what we call mobility, all right? So I want to thank uh, Dr. Andrew Spina again for this uh, uh, protocol, and hopefully we'll see you guys soon. I'm Shane Bales, Doc Hockey. Have a great day.